paid dinners, new siblings, and ooh, muscles. We are talking it all this week on Days of Our Lives coming up next. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz why, hello, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dishin Days, where we give you a full recap of NBC's number one Emmy Award winning hit soap opera, Days of Our Lives. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my gaggle of gals. <laughs> to my far left, we have Michael Mattis, certifiable bitch. <laughs> Uh, that was my favorite line of the week. Yes. My favorite line of the week. Yes. And also... I, Tammy Govea. Ah! Ah! Uh, thank you guys for joining us live. If you're in our chat room, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're watching it later, thank you for the watch count as well. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like us and follow us on all social media platforms. We are Edition Days on Facebook and Instagram and underscore Edition Days on Twitter. The at is implied and help us kind of get to we're almost to 9,000 on, on Instagram oh my gosh yeah so and hopefully maybe by the end of the year we'll be 10,000 let's yeah mm, it's gonna take less time mm, than that mm. <laughs> um, and if you are listening to us on iTunes make sure you leave us five stars and a wonderful comment and who knows you might be fan of the week <laughs> <laughs> and if you are a huge fan of other soap operas like Young and the Restless and General Hospital, we do have a recap for those shows as well. Make sure you check out Restless Rap right after our show and GH Report at 6 right here on AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> and that is it. All I'm right. Amen. <laughs> what did you guys think of this week of days? I, I was, was pretty I, entertaining. Oh my God. This I was, was just saying good. this was one of the best weeks. There were so many moments where I was. It's such a cliche, LOL, but I was laughing out I had, loud. I had many, like, moments where when I laugh out loud, I just kind of go, ha! I had so many of those moments this week. It was great. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have laughable moments, but I had more, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> moments. Wow, that was like a three three thing right there. Okay. Yeah. Something. Ha! Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. That's, that, that's how my health. <laughs> oh, and wait, there was one point where I was like, what? Yeah, I'm a kind of, I screech first, I go, ah! Yeah. And then, oh. Yeah. Just like that. Oh. I always wonder what my roommates think when, like, I'm watching Days and they hear, ha, huh! okay, like that, like, or all the sound effects. Well, if they know the DID storyline, maybe they're a little concerned. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe they just think I'm <laughs> transformed into someone else. Well, let's talk all about it. It's now time to start Dishing Dish Days. Days. Tamala? Tamala, you want to switch the uh, flip the whatever? <laughs> All right, we are going to start with uh, 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 Abigail, Chad, Gabby, Julie, Jennifer, Jack, JJ, and Kayla. And Basically Trash. everybody. Where else. do everybody we want to start mama. with this? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Where should we start? <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, <sighs> yeah. Um, let's talk about Abigail. Mm -hmm. Okay. She still has a little chip on her shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah. About I, I, I do too. The fam and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Is it... Should she should she should she be on the road to just kind of like Elsa and let it go? Like what are what <laughs> I mean, are we I feel thinking? I feel like we need to give her a little time to start, like you said, on the road to forgiving or, you know, letting it go. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm okay with her having like a little bit of a chip on her shoulder about it or being a little disgruntled about but she'll come around. I think I, 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 think I, think I was. I think I was in the beginning, and then now I'm just kind of like, all right. So you've made amends with Gabby, and you. I wouldn't say she made amends. She didn't make amends. She just kind of let it. Go. She was like, whatever. Forward. She was being the bigger person. It I wouldn't was, say she made amends. It was more amends on her terms of like, you know what? I'm not gonna press charges. I'm gonna let you go your way. I'm gonna go my yeah, way. Yeah, she's choosing we where she's enough. putting her energy. We're not gonna be friends. Mm -hmm. and Ever. We're done. Right. You know. I will say that. I was prepared to have Abigail's chip on my own shoulder for a whole lot longer. But after the dinner <laughs> that Chad created, mm -hmm. the chip's kind of fallen off. Well, I'm so easy. And I think the look that she gave Chad that very last scene on Friday, like, it when was kind of, like, I feel like that was, like, I noticed, like, her in her face. I, like, she was kind of like, you. You. But we'll see if that is actually what she's, you know, we'll see what happens Monday. I don't think she's going to blast him, but... 
I, I think she's going to start coming around. When when she read the letter and, and thought that he had stood her up, yeah. uh, that was like a... <gasps> No, like, I was, that can't be. I was like, I know you see there's more to read. Like, I know you're not going <laughs> to stop right there, girl. Like, come on. It was like, big writing. Yeah, like I, from 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 writing. where I was sitting on my Chad's couch like, in my living room, <laughs> like I could see where like she had read halfway through and was like, how dare. And I'm like, girl, there's more to read. Like, keep reading. Keep mm-hmm. going on. Like, yeah. there's more after that. Like, don't hold on to that. <laughs> Team too much. I love that. Ron, writers, that was brilliant. What Didn't was, expect it. What? That the whole dinner? dinner, the Devereaux dinner. But the you know Devereux what? Dinner. I think I think it was needed. Oh my God. Because so many levels. I think we now need to see the dynamic of the Devereaux family yeah. and that it's not where it was. And the fact that Jack is just so like Jack is in his own world. <laughs> he was He's very, like a child. He was very funny, yeah. Because all of his reactions are just childlike. He was like, like yeah, wonder, a state this, of wonder. Yeah, th- this guy named Chad Demera came and and told me to come and decided oh, to pay me ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and I and I thought to myself, <laughs> what? Like, okay, first of all, like if somebody paid you ten thousand dollars to be somewhere, you don't tell nobody. And then they, <laughs> and all of their faces were like. Oh, really? But it's yeah. so Jack. Mm. It's so typical Jack. Like, of course he's going to take the money. But thank gosh oh, yeah. there was something redeeming about it. But yeah. what what I do like is that he took the money. He has an explanation for the money because he's like, you know, I can't depend on Eve, you know, forever. I'm glad they came up with that. But I also kind of feel like he genuinely wanted to be there and kind of figure out yeah start the this. exploration yeah although he sits there the entire time like a deer in headlights yeah well wouldn't you like he's just especially like, when they start reminiscing about london yeah, yeah. and he was just he's looking like i at have them, no like, idea what you people are talking about i was just really happy that he had extracted himself from eve's claws that they hadn't slept together mm-hmm. um and when jen throws out when's the wedding lost my mind oh the shade the of broccoli, that just Chewing a broccoli. Let me tell you, there was lots of shade thrown during that dinner. It was like, well, how much are you going to get paid for that? And I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, y'all are what, caddy. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Like, you should really have that conversation with JJ about Eve. And then and then someone said, well, how much are you going to get paid for that? Yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. And oh I was like, oh, the shade, fantastic. shade, <laughs> shade of it all. But I, I am glad that they had that dinner because I felt like, it definitely was needed. I like the fact that Julie was the person who convinced mm-hmm. Abigail to actually go to the dinner because she was at home folding her baby's clothes like, yeah. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not dealing with nobody. Right. I'm about to take this bra off. Like, I'm good. <laughs> you know? And and so, but Julie was like, okay, it's Chad. And like, there's a surprise and like, you mm-hmm. should just go. Um, and so she got dressed and showed up and voila. We, yeah. we saw it what happened. It just hit so many different levels. You know, it was great yeah. for Jack. It was great mm-hmm. for Abigail. Mm-hmm. Tra- starting to mend with the family. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just it was so good. It was great. It was so I, good. I loved I, it. And it was, it was very needed. And I thought it was very well written. And I thought that the scene was definitely necessary in order for viewers to know, like, where the Devereaux are right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say, and let me just make sure, I don't know if we're going to mention this, but I'm going to mention it now. Nope. Uh, The moment when Jack ran into Kayla. Oh, I was just going to, yeah. Oh, my God. Kayla's on there. Yeah. And and so... And so he's, like, (sighs) wanting to know more and can Mm -hmm. tell, like, there's something. And his face kind of went... When she was like, you raped me. And I was just like, oh, gosh. And, you know, it happened a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. But when Kayla was talking about it, it was like it had just happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And watching that conversation was really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really hard to watch. And and she, it was almost like she was torn to... She didn't know if she wanted to tell him. Whether she should tell him, whether she should keep it to herself for right now, like... You know what? What? And then she was just kind of. He kept pressuring her, mm-hmm. and I think as a viewer, we all knew what was about to come out. You were like, "Say it, yeah, say yeah. it." But yeah. Mary Beth yeah. just peeled it back yeah. so yeah, exactly. slowly and yeah. so perfectly. It wasn't accusatory. Mm-hmm. It was. It was just matter of fact. It was just here's the deal. Yeah. Um, like it happened, but, but you're actually a good guy. We have a died, great relationship. You, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Had, we had a good relationship. Yeah. And I loved when he said. How did I? How did I turn into a good guy? Like, mm-hmm. how do I go from what I did to you to being 
Jennifer's the love of Jennifer love. Horton. The love of Jennifer. The love of Jennifer. Yeah, that yes. was cute. That was so good. Um, I okay. So yeah. Uh, D. H. Trask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I Melinda's just say back. I'm I'm so happy because I wasn't sure if. Melinda and Haley were going to be sisters or if they were going to be mother-daughter. I thought mother-daughter at first. No shade to the woman who plays Melinda Trask, but Mm -hmm. I thought mother-daughter at first. But I thought, to me, she... She doesn't look old enough to have a daughter Haley's age, and mm-hmm. but Hollywood does that all the time. Yeah, yeah. so it kind yeah. of irked me, well, especially on the soap operas. Yes. Like, yeah, it, yeah. The age, like the real age, doesn't really matter. So mm-hmm. I was thrilled that they're more that they're sisters. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, thank I you. I wonder, but Haley's got a secret. I know. We don't know what it is. I don't is, know what that is. But it's the reason she tried to kill herself. I know. And Melinda Trask didn't seem very sympathetic. Uh, sympathetic to her sister trying to to, you know, she doesn't want herself. to see her on the street. Right. Kicking you out of the apartment. Oh, that's but, and they're apparently uh, living together and yeah. just kicking her out. And, Ooh, she's a cold. And fish. Trask was yeah. very upset that Gabby or Abby did not want to press charges against Gabby. It's all about her reputation. And then threatened to go after Chad. Yeah. Well, she just wants a win. Yeah. Is what she's that, after. And, and I'm glad Abigail pointed that out. Like, oh, I see what you're doing. You just need a win. And it's like you're not for justice. Yeah. And, and it's like she's always kind of been like that, though. Mm-hmm. Like she just wants to throw people in jail for no reason. Not well, for no reason. There's reason there's here. There's reason. There's, there's just reason. the person that could do it doesn't want to do it. When And speaking of reason, that confrontation between Julie and Gabby in the square. Oh, I yeah. Love those when two Julie together. said, oh. you know, fine, Abby's not going to come forth and press charges. Maybe I will. Right. Um, I actually thought that's why Trask was there. I thought Julie was going to like press charges about the fall yeah. or like something and that's why Trask was there. Well, what bothers me about that situation is that Gabby l- literally like threatened her. Well, that's what I just, didn't like, understand. And, and like, Julie just me? let it go and I'm like that A, I d- like I don't really d- like that was a little too far for Gabby. I, I don't understand why she went there. And then the fact that Julie just kind of like apparently to us just let it go. Just went about her business after that. Well, I don't like, think the, she's the, gonna let it go. Neither of those things like made sense to me. Well, she let it go in the immediate because we didn't see her really react to but it. But she you did know? bring it up to Abigail. You know, mm. when you, why aren't you pressing charges? Mm. She's just roaming the town, <laughs> threatening people, okay. which was which was her. Okay. Um, we'll see. That was rude. I don't understand why Gabby did that. Yeah, even though Gabby's like gone to the dark side and, and whatever, like that that hard like threat. I'm just like oh. permanently shut your mouth. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yikes. I didn't like that that th- that permanent yeah. threat. Yikes. That was a little too far for, for Gabby, for me. for me. Um, Marlon Wallace says, Melinda could subpoena Abby. She doesn't need her permission to prosecute. I know. That's mm-hmm. another thing that doesn't Melinda make sense to me. Melinda could subpoena Abby. Really? Uh, I think. Like, I don't know. I don't know I don't much know about I feel like if, yeah. if, like, she really, if Trask really wanted to, she could do it. <laughs> she didn't need Abby. But Scott Holston said, y'all know how older people are. Julie will never forget. No. <laughs> you know? The older um, I get, the less forgiving and forgetting I'm getting. <laughs> Haywood hey Wong thought JJ laying it on Gabby was harsh, but needed. Needed, mm-hmm. I, totally. Well, yeah, yeah, because you have to think that JJ felt some kind of way because he was protecting her because of their relationship and what he and what she did for him by saving him and saving his life. And so he was like, no, 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 Gabby would never do that. And right. then to find out that she did, it's kind of like, are you serious? Like, what? you totally ruined my family because I, be- I sided with you when I should have mm-hmm. sided with my sister. Right. When he said to her, when JJ said to Gabby, you saved my life and I could have saved yours. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Chills. Uh, Dylan Matthews says, JJ to the rescue, Haley will move in with him. I thought about that. You can't be shagging up this early. Well, I mean, he's I taking know. her in like he took um, Teresa. Teresa in. Oh, you know, yeah. The apartment. The, she, uh-huh. He's going to help her out, and yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be that would be in line with JJ's character. So. It would be totally in line. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Well, let's move it. And on. now Chad is... Oh, that's the next... Oh, go ahead. Is that the next one? No, what? Chad oh. is now in charge of Demira. Oh, yes. That kind of goes yes. in with this. Yes, yes, yes. Bit. It kind of goes into the next storyline, too, that we're going to talk about. Okay. Yes. Uh, see you. Sian, San Fos, oh, Sierra Ben. Oh, my Cla- living word. Sierra Ben, Claire I hate Claire to say Tripp. it, but I don't think what? Sin has lasting power. You know why? It's because we can't get over the hurdle of just allowing Ben to be Ben. And, and kind of forgive, never forget, mm-hmm. what he's done and just allow him to start over. Because everyone makes a good point. 
like Abigail and all the stuff that she's done, it's kind of like, oh, it's okay. Like, it's fine. You were sick. Well, and, and you can't compare, but, you know, Ben had a different sort of mental illness that he had to overcome and he had to, and he's trying to now, you know, work on himself, but everyone won't do that. Well, no, well, Abigail killed too, which is why she split. She killed Andre. One person against And it was unintentional. A killing is a killing. Three people against one. No, I don't think... One came back. One came back. One came back. And more probably will anyway. But as for now, like, people, I feel like the... Even though I'm a sin shipper and whatever, I just don't see... Like, I know... Like, I'm sure that they're going to have it that Ben started the fire. And now they have this roadblock. And I just don't see them ever being a viable true couple. I will That's just my 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 I, opinion. I want to and say And I feel can I, go sorry, ahead, go sorry, ahead, go sorry. Ahead. No, no, no. No, and I just feel like the everyone being like, "Oh, they should just forgive and forget Ben." I don't know. I don't no, agree with I that. No, I don't I don't think there's any forgiving or forgetting. And I really appreciated Sierra's very valid concerns about him kidnapping Gabby mm-hmm. because of her own personal past. I thought those conversations were incredibly realistic. I will say that if he hadn't quit Stefan on his own, I don't know if I would have been able to continue on with Sin. Right. But he did. He mm-hmm. did. He and tried. and yeah. Sierra wouldn't listen to him. No. Nope. And wouldn't let him actually say those words. And because mom and because Abigail both said verbatim, get out while you still can. Mm-hmm. I think she's feeding into those fears and mm-hmm had kind of made a choice subconsciously like I I think I I do need to take a step back and I'm glad that Ben kind of made that choice for them Mm -hmm. like okay you know what but did you see her reaction when he said like fine we're done she kind of had a second like yeah she's like wait wait yeah and I was like no girl let him go yeah I just I'm glad for this moment I just think that there's so much pressure with this relationship like Sierra just can't get to know Ben because everyone's like, why are you with him? He's a serial killer. He's horrible. He's this, he's that. Even in our chat room, people are like defending Abigail and 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 saying well, like, like, oh, you know, she, it was in self-defense. It was only one killing. It's, da, da, da. and I well, get that. Well, she kidnapped three women. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, she, all she, under, you know, mental illness. They would have died. Had they not been mm-hmm. found, they would have died. So... I, I, I think it's 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 so weird in in soaps how it's easy to forgive certain characters but hard to forgive other mm-hmm. characters. Like I was kind of like, you know, Ben had been gone for so long that, you know, you don't forget the killings, but if he's trying to like change his life around, like I'm totally with with you on that. But I'm keeping my eye on you. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm looking and watching and everything that you do. And I also think that he has been very upfront and honest with Sierra yeah. throughout this whole thing. Yeah. Now, did he tell her about the kidnapping? No, because how was that dinner talk? <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, I had to cancel our date because I had to go kidnap Gabby. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like there's things that you kind of have to keep to yourself because of, you know, because that's his job. And I, I did but, love the moment of Sierra being the his, his conscience. His mm-hmm. con- conscience, mm-hmm. conscience, <laughs> and because he didn't, he never. I don't think he. He was just taking orders. He never took the time to really think about what might have happened, what could have no, happened. He didn't. Mm-hmm. he didn't. And well, and he's gonna have to face repercussions for that. That's just yes. The, and and yeah, ben, he's lost and her ben and he's keeping, lost his job. And Ben keeping one secret is just like he shouldn't be keeping secrets at all. He should I know, know, but he can't that be perfect. I mean, I think well, no one's expecting I think be... both of them right now are going into their own individual corners. The mm-hmm. the beautiful part of this moment for them is he's going to have to fight for her. Oh, yeah. Because fighting for her means he's fighting for himself. Mm-hmm. If he stops fighting That's for deep. her, mm-hmm. then he's giving up on himself. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's it. Okay. So I believe in ship sin. Okay. Sail on I, 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 sin ship. I like... Sin. I I like the couple. I I like the the I like them together because I feel like they both have this. I feel like they get each other and they understand each other and and they work well together. I think the biggest hurdle is that no one allows them to be together because everyone's trying to tear them apart. 
And Sierra this week, I felt like, was kind of hit with um, Hope coming in and being like, oh, did you know he kidnapped Gabby? And this was also after it was re- it, Sierra found out that Ben and the other one, Claire, Claire. somewhat conspired sure. to break well, them up. So it was like a double, a double yeah, whammy for but Sierra. Then, but also, if you remember, <clears throat> he, he wasn't really as involved in the demise of Trip and and Sierra he as Claire tries to put that yeah, yeah he was really he was quickly. kind of like yeah like, I can't and, do it, this. and then he backpedal like nope I can't do yeah. this right. you know what I mean and so he was very honest and was like yeah I tried to get close to you um but you know it, I felt like he, he they made it sound like there was a lot of trickery and a lot of rigor mortis that happened in order for Sierra and Ben to get together. And really, and like, and it really wasn't. wasn't. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it was all taken out of proportion just for this huge breakup. And you know, I thought it was a really interesting moment too when um, Sierra and Ben were arguing and she was saying, you know, considering what happened to me, he lost it when he thought she was comparing him to a rapist. Oh, yeah. It was almost like his subtext was saying, I know I kill people, but don't compare. Don't accuse me of ever crossing that line. Yeah, that was a really interesting right. moment. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> we'll see I know, happens. big sigh. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, let's see. Landon Fuller says, "I really want Hope to be done with this Ben storyline. I get why she's upset and scared. She's Just obsessed. think, it's wasting Christian, Alfilo, uh, Christian Alfonso's talent." Um, oh, I, I like agree, her. but I like I like seeing the side of her. You like seeing Mama Bear Hope? Yeah, I do. But but at obsessive some... and you know she loses perspective. But and how she's long is it gonna choices. go for? Like how long is she gonna like solely concentrate on that? I... Find Until a... she feels like her daughter is safe. Is safe, right? Well, Boom. Fi- well, find a hobby, knit. All right, so <laughs> let's move on to um, Eric, Brady, Chloe, Sarah, Eve, and Holly. Um, Sarah was really annoying to me this how week. So? Sarah, okay, when Sarah is just <laughs> herself with Eric, I like her. When she's acting all self righteous, like she knows what's best for Holly, I don't like her because she just got to town. She doesn't even know Holly, didn't know Nicole, and she acts like she knows what's best for this little girl. And she's coming, and I don't know if it's just because she's off her breakup and she needs something to take her time. To take up her her mind or whatever, but it just it bugs me for some reason, and I th- it speaks to um, Lindsay Lindsay Godfrey. Yes, mm-hmm. it speaks to her portrayal because one minute I'm like, oh she's cute, I like her, and then the other minute I'm like, Ew, she needs to shut up. Uh uh-uh. uh I was like I was like I don't know if anybody else knows this, but and you and I mentioned this uh, in in our chat. Sarah is hood. Like she is she like. Hood in her, yeah. Listen, when when she's defending somebody, she's almost like, like what you want to do. Like you know what I'm saying. Like it ain't nothing but space and opportunity right here. Like where you want to go with this? And I was just like, Sarah Horton, you got a tisha hood in yeah, you, girl. Yeah, she's fearless. Yeah. Good, bad, or indifferent, she is fearless. I okay. So I asked this to you all: Was was Sarah wrong for taking Holly yes. over yes. to Eric Absolutely. without the permission? Of Yes. Of Chloe. Yes. yes. But, but. Y'all both say yes just, I do. All, just oh, really absolutely. quickly? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. It's, it's not her if kid. If I was Chloe and someone just took my child without letting me know, I'd. Be, I feel like Chloe was like, very forgiving. Hello? <laughs> but there was so much, you know, there's so much between Chloe and Sarah that it turned into yeah. something much bigger than mm-hmm. it needed to be. See, the thing that turned it around for me is when Sarah, when Sarah was like, I'm her auntie. And I was like, granted, yes. She and just she, she, met the girl, and but she but has I no also, connection yeah. to her whatsoever. But I also thought um, I thought yes. that that Maggie had gave permission, but then it realized it, it totally realized like Maggie wasn't like in the picture or whatever. Um, but I don't know. I was I, like for a moment I was watching them all like in the apartment. And I was like, Chloe, you, I, I don't like I don't know. Like I feel like it's it's a little too much because technically you not the mama. But she has more. Well, she she has more of a connection to this kid True, than Sarah because, because she, was she carried a sur- her she was for a nine surrogate. months. Honestly, yeah. Sarah knew she goofed up. Yeah, when, Sarah er- knew she- when Eric yeah, said, "Oh, absolutely. you didn't tell Chloe." Well, did you tell Maggie? Uh-huh. Sarah said, "Um, well, she was on the elliptical machine, so I left her a note." And there was this look on her face, like, "Eek!" Eek. Yeah, she knew. She, she knew. Yeah. She 
could have done this a whole different way. But I feel like it's easily forgivable because it's not like she took him to like. If there Stephens. wasn't this whole custody battle thing, yeah. it probably wouldn't have been a, a as big of a deal as it was. Which is all moot right now because uh, Why did Eric do that? Eric just dropped it. Probably Why? probably because they got Kyle Lauder back to play Rex, so they had to rewrite. Oh, the when I saw him at the door, I was like choking on the bread that Sarah was eating. Like, <laughs> but, <okay. laughs> but wait a minute, was anyone what? else like? I'm sorry, but when you're at somebody else's house and like the you know ding dong, you don't go. Like just to see who it is. <laughs> she had her back to the door. Yeah, just she's just in the, the back, just like eating no bread. By that, too. and I was, I was like, like, she's not looking. Like I'd want to know, like who's at yeah. the door at this hour. I want to uh, be like Sarah, honey. You, we, we were just, we were just <laughs> in a moment. Look back. We had a moment there. Who's at the door? Yeah, that's what I'd be thinking. Because I, I mean, she is. It was almost like this. It was almost like like the doorbell rang. It was like ding dong, and she was just like, oh, I'm just you know just not gonna worry about it, you mm-hmm. know. But me, that was a weird moment. I would, I would be like, who that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Is she- I think that this custody storyline was meant to go on longer. I feel like they brought Kyle Lauder back originally. It was supposed to be short term, and then for whatever reason, the return he came back for a, a longer stay, and so then the, they halted the custody and are going to start a new a new. Whatever you want, arc or whatever you want to call it. I'm, right. well, glad, I'm glad they're not going well, through with this whole custody battle. Michael, thing. Odessa said. What's Uh-oh. Odessa say? They didn't like rewrite anything. It was already planned that Kyle will return in January. And who is Odessa? So How does she know on, that? Poo on you. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm um, glad that they're not doing that. I was what? surprised, but I didn't want to see that whole ugly custody battle. I, I have to say I'm glad, too, because I I do feel like um, th- th- there's no point. Like, I feel like Holly has so many people who love her yeah. that it, there's no point. In, I almost like, gave her fight. designer days. Oh, Holly? She, she She's so really freaking cute. cute in that pink sweater she and little bone so hair. so cute. Um... All so right. yeah, that's where that is. That's where that is. All yeah. right, now a little bit of business. Business. All right. Well, uh, you're watching Dish and Days on AfterBuzz TV. Uh, here at AfterBuzz TV, we produce several after shows for nearly all of your favorite TV shows, from dramas to reality TV to sci-fi and more. There is no network other than AfterBuzz that works harder to serve you, the television fans. But we need your help. Please. We're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our YouTube channels if you're not already. Subscribing to our YouTube channels will also help you discover new shows, like Days of Our Lives, if you're into drama, that you are sure to love. Since you're already tuned into drama, you might be interested in Better Call Saul, Greenleaf, Orange is the New Black, or Yellowstone, or any number of dramas that are out there. They're increasing. I know. They're, yeah, we're adding all so over many the place, Especially shows. now in January. Yeah. They're just coming up like uh, hotcakes. Uh, and remember, we have channels for other genres, too. Comedy, sci-fi, etc. And if you're worried about pesky notifications, don't be. Your phone or your device will not be blown up because... They're optional. They're optional, yes. So it's easy. Just hit that subscribe button for an easier AfterBuzz experience. And let us know if you have any comments. We'll thank you on the air. Thanks for being the best fans. We promise to continue to serve you Promise to continue to do our best to serve you, yes. I should say. <laughs> and that was brought to you by AfterBuzz TV. Oh, so you just going to yeah, take I took all your line, the lines. Sorry, yeah. All of it. Yeah. My name was on it. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, Michael Mattis completely tries He's everybody's life in the studio. Mm-hmm. Um, get your own line. <laughs> <laughs> My name right. was on it. <laughs> Let's go to uh, uh, our tidbits. Uh, we kind of already we talked kind about already J.J. Haley, Haley and Trask. Haley. Yeah. 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 Except... Except JJ walking in on Trask and Haley at the at the right at the, at the park, very end at of the Friday. very end, mm-hmm. and oh, he had okay. that look of who that hmm. what's going on here? I don't know how they're going to explain that moment. We'll we'll see so on Monday. We shall see. We'll see yeah. Um. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. The moment you all have been waiting the for. The not safe for oh, work portion of our show. Word. Will, Run. Sonny, Leo, Xander, and Victor. Okay, wait. Can let's, we just wait? Can we just get everything else out of the way first, so that we can solely concentrate on Story? Leander? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Leander. Okay. Okay. Okay, love the fact that Will and Sonny have, like, they're on this mission to really, like, take down uh, Leo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that they're going to be kind of working together. And I agree Find with his mama. Yeah, yeah, I agree with Sonny that, you know, it's a little sneaky for them to, gaze. like, be, like, doing all this the stuff good together. Gaze. I was going to say gaze. the good gays versus the bad gays. Yes. Oh, my God. Um, love how Victor has been. He, Victor is Victor. Okay, now we're done. 
Leo and Xander. <laughs> when I tell you, when Xander walked down and Leo stopped <laughs> in the middle of what he was saying to be like, hello. Like, be wait. Because even I was sitting there like, who that? <laughs> and when they cut to Xander, I was like, there were because I already had that moment when he when he walked in and was like, "Oh, skinny dipping in a in a warm <laughs> pool," and I'm like, "Here we go with the yellow towel and the and the and the shirtlessness." Mm -hmm. When when Leo, woo, yes. <laughs> um, when Leo says, "You ready? To, you ready to hit the hot tub, X Man?" <laughs> There were so many amazing lines. Xander, from one hustler to another, we yes. know you're both lying. That was yes. a beautiful moment mm -hmm. between them. And I don't know about you guys, but suddenly I was like, I like this like pairing mm -hmm. of now I have someone else to work with in order to get what I want. But there's a price. Well, What's when, that price well, called? When Leo was like... When he, oh, I'm like, sorry. The hands down him. the oh. chest and was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I can figure something out. And then did I you feel that electricity when yep, you touched sure him? Did. Well, I, I fe felt that well, electricity. No, I felt two things. I felt one person being like, yes, muscles. And someone else being like, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> and Xander's reaction of really being, com when he says to Leo, well, what do you want? Mm -hmm. He has no clue. No, right. yeah. no, no clue None. that Leo's None. even going to go there. So when Leo did go there, yeah. Xander was like, The look he was like, have, I don't yeah. sing that way. <laughs> Not my thing. But, e but even still, Leo was like, In case you change your mind, I'm on the second floor, fourth room to the left. And his sachet. Scoop, and then scoops up, and then sachet. <laughs> his sachet? Oh my God. Like, I. Greg. Greg, and Greg. These these little like sa these like I'm gonna grab some liquor and sashay up mm -hmm. to my room moments. Like, kudos to you oh for that. Oh my god! I, I was talking I about the, the hug, the first hug where he's like, oh yes, <laughs> that that hug where it was like, bring it, and it was like, oh <laughs> my. <Right? laughs> I was like, We've oh, all had that moment. and and I I totally I, I feel like kudos to the right the the writing team oh, at Days for this pairing because with someone like Paul Teffler and someone like Greg Rickard, Rickard, yeah, Is that Rickard, you Rickard, um, like the two of them play their characters so well and they add in this like humor to it as well that I feel like the two of them together are going to be something magical. I'm like, curious I'm to see where they go. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think it's, they're gonna go that way with it. No, no, no. But they're gonna but they're definitely gonna to like together. team up. They're, yeah, they're gonna yeah. team up. Yeah, when, yeah. When and Xander says, oh, you've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Just those moments. Like, Thank me, and Greg says, Well, I tried. <laughs> yeah, but I I feel like I feel like they're gonna Who's have a very daddy? playful like mm -hmm. relationship with each yeah. other where like Leo is always gonna try, but he's gonna be like, That's cute, but no. Like I'm, I'm I want to see it. them work together. I, I'm here I for do. It. I want them to get into all the trouble that they can possibly get into. Yes. Um, okay. That was that I moment. I know. <laughs> all right. Uh, Chad and Eve. Chad we, we and Eve. We skipped over one. Oh. Or do you not want to talk about that? Oh, sorry. Uh, Hope, Rafe, uh, Ted, and I mean, it's not. Seven. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the chat room doesn't. <laughs> think they care about it, but. I mean, it's basically um, Hope. You know, just has this idea of Ted representing Stefan. Mm -hmm. um, she she, she feels it's going to be a double, like killing two birds with exactly. one yes. stone. Stefan Stefan gets put away, and if he throws Ben under the bus, and they yeah. throw right. Ben under the bus, right. yeah. Ben and Stefan got. I don't think it's going to work, but right. I don't think so either. Stefan got in indicted by the FBI for the Espionage download thing. of the treason of the eye. I don't and think it was and him. It's, and I don't think it was it's, him. It's death sentence. It's I get like, yeah. Like that's what said. I know, right? Right? It was like by well, death. Treason, you're betraying your country, Holy so they don't mackerel. mess around. But I don't think it was Stefan. I don't think it was either, and I don't know why. I don't. Think I don't it know was if him. they've explained why they know it's him or what right. evidence they have that they know it's him. But maybe I think it's someone else. Maybe hacked into Steve. Steve's, Steve's eyes. eyes. <laughs> Whenever they talk about the bionic eye, I just laugh. It's just so obscure. It's so ridiculous. But I right. did love the scene between Stefan and Ted when Ted walks in as his lawyer. And mm -hmm. la Stefan is laughing out loud. Like, really? Hi, and how the, are you? How the, was the vacation? And the look that he has when Ted comes back and was like, sorry, you're going to have to spend the night in jail and walks <laughs> like, out. Like, no apology or anything. He's like, and remember, what? The, remember the scene where they open, they open 
the scene to Stefan and he's his head's laying on the table. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> such a weird moment. Like he like he's he was taking a nap. Like he was just that, over it. You know who did that last year when Ben came back and interrupted Will's wedding? Robert Scott slash Ben did that when he was in that room. Oh. He was laying down? With his head down, yeah. That's funny. That was a funny moment. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I think that's it. I was trying to remember who did that. It just hit me a minute ago. And, like, of course, my th- that moment when um, Hope says to Ted, you know, I want you to defend Stefan. Mm-hmm. I made that little, <laughs> captured that moment of <laughs> Ted's reaction. Like, uh, I can't even do it justice. Yeah. It was great. Um, two things. Kevin, Kevin O'Connell says, Steve's eyes should be an episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Orlando Williams says, "I'm sick of the CEO musical chairs." <laughs> like every, I know, I know. right? Yeah. I know. Agreed. Like, at, like at just what, make a decision, y'all. At what point what, is a company going to be like, uh, you know what? I'm all confused. I'm just going to take my money elsewhere. <laughs> All these investors, little, yeah, I know. A little, little too much changeover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so we did that. Uh, Chad and Eve. Chad is just using his little powers to mm-hmm. just try to make coming. everything right. I didn't see that coming either. No. I was surprised. Well, at first I was it, I was like, oh, yay, like Eve yeah. at the mirror. That's great. And then she was like, the money was right. And then she flipped that page and saw it was Paris. I said, goop. Oui, madame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. He just wants her out of Salem, he want, out of Abby's yeah, life. Yeah, for the sake of um, the, yeah, the for the Devereaux. Devereaux. Yeah, for the Devereaux. <laughs> for the who? I said the Devereaux. Devereaux, right? I know that's not how you pronounce I know, it. Devereaux. Devereaux. That was that was Michael's own little. I, I laughed it. with you, Michael. Do, do you laugh with me or at me? <laughs> that time I laughed with I you. I laughed with you. I laughed with you. Um, all right. Well, that has been your week of days, and it's yes, now sir. time for our Man. segment. Yes! And we're going to start with mine, which is Tony's official three snaps award. Oh, snap! All right. So y'all know. Oh, man, there's so much. I love a good shade moment. Mm -hmm. I love Mm -hmm. a good shade fest. I love when people get in fights and they just drop receipts everywhere. And that moment came when Chloe and Sarah went at it. I was like, yes, for that receipt, Chloe. Yes, Sarah, for coming (laughs) back at her. And I was just like, oh, oh, oh. It was such a moment where I was like, girl, I'm going to have to grab a popcorn because y'all are spilling all kinds of tea and receipts in this (laughs) argument. And then Hood Sarah was basically like, bitch and what? Like, what you want to do? So, Tony's official Three Snaps Award goes to the cat fight this week between Chloe and Sarah. You guys get Tony's official Three Snaps Award. All right, y'all. It's now time for... They play this song on Coast 103.5 all us? the time. Yeah. <laughs> and you think of the I immediately start going, elegant. <laughs> you know, so this week, there were quite a few options. But this week, instead of going for that d- killer dress or killer jacket, I thought, you know, these two gals, Miss Sarah and Miss Sierra, have these mm. very wonderful staple blouses that every gal should have in their wardrobe. Mm-hmm. I actually think I have a couple of these. Mine's in red, powder blue, and hot pink. Mm. Um, just love the bold colors. Women, ladies, never be afraid to have color in your closet. Um, and just, I just love the simplicity. And again, they're staples. You can wear them, dress them up, dress them down. Thank you, Sarah and Miss Sierra, for being... All right, y'all, and now it's time for... (laughs) Action Dad! All righty, this week's caption photo is of Melinda Trask, our favorite DA, and a look she's giving Abigail. I don't remember what Abigail said to her to give her that look, but whatever. So this week's caption goes to one of our favorite fans, (laughs) Mike Riley. He's going to be so happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on Facebook, he legit did have the best one, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and his caption was Melinda saying, Wow, you're trying really hard to sell this DID altar. You look like a totally different person. Ah. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good That's one. Good. That was a good one. Congrats, Mike Riley. Yes. And that was. Caption that. And we don't have Mark's quote of the week, but we do have. Miss you, Mark. Dish and Day's <laughs> Fan of the Week. Woohoo! 
That I do not hear on the radio. <laughs> well, if you did <laughs> hear that on the radio. Scary. That one you can only hear here. That would be interesting. All right, so it looks like this week's Fan of the Week comes from iTunes. Yes. Um, this lovely person gave us five go- five stars, Thank and it starts you. with... La La Shingle. I got you, girl. Uh, La La <laughs> Shingle says, love, love, love. I have been a Days fan for a long, long time. Your podcast is the best. I love revisiting Salem with you each Aww. week. Thank you, Lala. Thank we appreciate you, Lala. you taking you to Thanks, the world Lala. of Salem. And that makes you our fan of the week. <clears throat> Woohoo! <laughs> All right. And now it's time for some. My After favorite part of the show. Oh, thank you. I love this segment. Oh, thank this you. is Mike, Michael, Michael's second segment. Yeah. So we're just going <laughs> to allow him to just, over. you know, just kind of go we're through gonna everything. We're going to show up on Sunday and the doors will be locked, Tony. <laughs> Shady Sunday. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. So, shh, Tammy. Shh, 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 bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it on down. Bring it on zero. Okay, we're running out of time. Sorry. Um, okay, so the big news, in case you haven't heard, is that Days of Our Lives has been renewed. Yay! For a 55th season. You still yay. have a job, yay! Which means there I will still have be a chance to be <laughs> Maxine's son. I know. <laughs> we still, uh, which means there will still be plenty of fussing and a feudin' in Salem into the year 2020. That's so, amazing. congratulations to all the cast, the crew, the writers, the editors, and everyone who make the people of Salem come to life for our enjoyment every day. Yay! Uh, next up, uh, one of those people that make the show come alive. Chriselle Hartley revealed on social media she will be reprising her role as Ben's sister Jordan on February 4th. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's about I'm time. Excited. He yeah. needs his sister back. Yeah. So we'll see like if you oh, know so what excited. she cooks up when she I uh, saw her at Starbucks up. one day. She's so beautiful. She's so pretty. Oh, gosh. And she's gorgeous. She, we actually interviewed her a couple years ago and she's very lovely. If you want to see that interview, make sure you go to After Buzz TV and look up Chriselle Stouse. Yeah. You can go to DishingDays.com and all of our shows All of our shows there. come up. There you go. So uh, yeah. Uh, also, we want to send out a congratulations to Christopher Sean, whose Disney series Star Wars Resistance has been renewed for a second season. Yay! So excited. Christopher stars as Kaz, 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 on the animated series. Uh, we miss him on days, but are happy to hear that his show is doing well. Congratulations, yes. Christopher Sean, so friend of the show. Yes, indeed. And uh, lastly, there are still tickets available for Starstruck Fan Events Days Weekend next month in Atlanta, Georgia. You can join Galen Gehring, Nadia Bjorlin, Brian Dottillo, Eric Martsoff, and Jordi, v- Jordi Villasuso. Uh-huh. Uh, February 9th and 10th, the events include a meet and greet, a dinner dance, and a day at the Georgia Aquarium. I wish we had Edition <clears throat> Days Jet and we could just go to all these events. That'd be amazing. I know. That'd be amazing. Get on that, Tammy. Oh. Well, I, <laughs> Hashtag I, buy one on Amazon. I actually want to. I actually want to go. I I told the people uh, at Starstruck that I I want to come to one of their events. Yeah. So I may I may pop into the Atlanta one. Let's right. we'll see what happens. Listen, Del- we, Delta has direct flights from LAX to Atlanta. Well, BT I have. Dubs. Well, I have friends with uh, buddy passes, so I just oh, my, my oh, airlines are limited. There you go. But we also know Mark and his his fiance. We got can you hook us up with some buddy passes. Okay. Husband. Just husband, fiance. Yeah. Oh, husband. husband. What did I say? Fiance. fiance. Damn. Put them back. <laughs> Put them back in time. His husband. Uh, for more information about the Starstruck Fan Event, you can go to starstruckfanevents.com or follow Starstruck Fans 2 on the Twitter. Yes. On the Twitter. And that is news and gossip for this week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not ready for this, then shut your eyes because we're going to give you a sneak peek of what's to come on this week of Days of Our Lives. The nights may be chilly, but days is hot this winter. Hot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 <gasps> everyone's horny. Oh, oh my gosh, it's, you know, Valentine's, oh, it's, wow. it's winter. Happy sexy people, times. Are, people are keeping warm. Listen, you know what? Days always Ooh. has a week like this where it just seems like everybody doing everyone's it. Everyone's got an itch. Like everybody is trying to get it in. And listen, I'm going to be glued. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to oh. be glued Literally. to the TV. Junior. Listen, how do you think we got here? <laughs> Procreation. I, just I, just appeared. Procreation. I, I appeared from under a rock. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. The little seagull just dropped you. A pelican. What was that bird? Uh, stork. Stork. <laughs> pelican. The pelican seagull. dropped me. Seagull dropped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Cackle. so out of that, who? Which it couples? It happened so fast. Which couples are you like excited for? I saw Eli and Lonnie. Mm-hmm. I saw um, Eric together. and Sarah. I saw yeah. Will and Sonny. And yeah, yeah. Was... I thought it was Xander and Sarah. 
No. no. <laughs> that was Eric and That was Eric. And Sarah. Oh. Xander and like, in the chat room, they're saying Xander and Sarah. Mm, I thought no. it was Xander. When I watched, I thought it was Xander. What? How much I could time? be wrong. How how much the, hair, time, the hair looked like Xander. How much time do we have, Steve, in, in our booth? How much time do we have? Can we run, can can you we take run the a, clip again? Can you, can you take that clip back of, of, of next week? Oh, no. Oh. We tried. Okay. Y'all, lay, I don't, I think lay your healing hands on, on After Buzz TV. We're having technical difficulties. Yeah. So. It was both. It was both. Really? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Sarah's really getting hers this week. I don't know. Listen, but, she's she's the new girl in town. She said, if Rex can do it, so can I. We need to watch the clip so, in slow mo. So who else? Yeah. Uh, um, it looked like Will and Sonny. Will and no. Sonny. Okay. Uh huh. It happened so fast. Yeah. And then there was a, there was a slap coming from Abigail to Stefan. Good. Right. Oh, Stefan and Gabby. That was a that was a kiss. I'm gonna get it right back after you. Okay. It was Stefan and Gabby moment. Okay. Oh, uh, she slapped him. See, wait. No. Oh. Oh, oh, Sierra and Trip. Sierra and Trip. Okay, finally. No, Sierra and Claire. I mean, Sierra and Claire. Oh, wait. Well, I mean, <laughs> Claire and I Trip. Mean, oh, my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no, no. Trip and Claire. Okay. okay. Let's. Huh? Oh well. Okay. So just okay. Let's take it back and <laughs> let's just let's just really like watch Rex appears and sure really call so out. That's, that's Eric. That is that. No, that's... that is not Eric. That. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. That's Xander. That is at the Kiriakis house. Slap. I, I, I okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm have to go back and watch it. It cannot be Xander and Sarah. I think that, I think that's, that's Eric. That's just cray cray. It looked like Eric had a haircut on Friday, so <laughs> I will say Xander. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. Listen. Well, Thank you, Steve. The important thing is that everybody's getting it in and if <laughs> things are about to heat up, you think your winter is cold or well, hunting. Tune in to Days is Days about, about to give eyes. you the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, well, that's it that's for it. our that's little show. Oh my gosh. Our little show. <laughs> our little show. Uh, Michael Mattis, let yes. the kind folks know where they can find you. You can find me on the Twitter at MLMattis1 and on the Instagram at MLMattis. And Tammy Govea. You can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and Insta and Facebook, Tammy Govea Official. And, of course, you can find our little show, Dish and Days, on all social media <gasps> platforms. We're on Facebook and Instagram, Dish and Days, and underscore Dish and Days on Twitter. And you can find little old me on all social media platforms at Lounger with Tony. And cut to the wide. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. <laughs> we'll see you next Sunday for another full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Bye, everyone. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first. We're the biggest in the world. And we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.